All right, now that you know how to compile and run a program and you know how to use the task you know, default in the VS Code, I now I'm going to shift towards debugging a program. Okay, now to debug a program in VS Code, we'll be using the default debugger that VS Code provides to us. And there's a specific file again, another JSON file called launch.json file, which will be again provided in the .vs code folder. And I'll be also exploring how to add breakpoints, watch mode, and some step commands and everything. All right, now. Let me come over here and copy the launch.json file from my uh, readme data file and even this will be uh, cross-platform and I don't think you know having a simple program like a hello world program is good enough to explore the debugger. So let me do this function thing over here okay we get an element to it and it is going to return the double of that element okay, it's a simple function all right don't forget the semicolons and uh, let us assume we have an array of five elements and let me put them as one five two three four and three uh, what is the error over here okay yeah double no make double that should okay now yeah, because double is a keyword we can't use that okay and i'll just write a for loop i'll use a snippet over here i'll go to int and uh, it'll be five because we have five elements and yeah i'll just go with i plus plus and what do we do we just print the hyphen d and maybe i'll just do the backslash n over here too and we'll have that make a call to that uh, make double function and we'll just print the current elements double okay so that's what we're doing and we can have the return zero or we don't need to do okay cool so this is our uh, program as of now and what i'll be doing is instead of using the control shift p thing to compile and run this program we can just do that too okay you can yeah, i'll show you that too if you want to gcc and this is first compiling because it, the, out, the running task depends on the compiling task and you see the double of each element 1, 2 and 5 is 10 and 2 is 4, 4 is 8 and 3 is 10. and then just press enter and it will be closed okay cool so this is the program that we wrote to check the debugger and to debug our file I think uh, we'll have to run start debugging by using F5 okay now if I press F5 uh, it will be asking what platform should I be choosing over here but i don't advise you to do that because uh, it will create a demo launch.json file but the file that i am providing for you is a pretty good file oops uh, let me come over here and again copy the launch.json file and paste it over here okay now you see some stuff broken over here but uh, i think you get the point because as of now uh, Unlike the CCPB properties and task storage in file, VS Code is no longer supporting the specific OS specific tasks and you know uh, paths over here. So the debugger path I am having over here is pointing to the GDP.exe, which is already to the path, but I am just adding it over here. And even the MI mode, which is the MI debug engine, is something related to VS Code, where it is to GDB. If you're on Mac, I advise you to have to LLDB because that is a debugger you'll be using. And the Mac specific debug debugger path and everything will be over here. See that? Uh, MI mode will be LLDB. Debugger path is user bin LLDB. Similar to uh, things on Linux, okay? Even the program that we're going to debug, the program should be the ex uh, executable. So now, the, for example, if you're on main.c and if you press F5, the current file name uh, base name without the extension is main and it will go to that out directory that main.exe file and it will use that to uh, debug that program now most important thing while debugging a program if you don't have this hyphen g flag over here then your program won't be debuggable okay so to make your program debuggable you should have this hyphen g flag in the compile task of yours okay only then we can debug the program and that is why i've added that over there okay so yeah uh, go through if you're on other operating system as i've already mentioned what should be changed this is the thing that you should be using for uh, windows so okay now i have that you can see uh, you can just debug like this or i can press f5 
and we'll be we'll be shifting to the debugger path uh, debugger thing over here and it just goes away okay because we did not put any breakpoint over here because debugging is all about stopping the execution of the code at a single point and you know uh, was having the look at the intermediate values and watching through a loop and all of them so what i'll do is i'll just uh, have a breakpoint in the printf statement over here and now i'll press f5 again and now you can see first it is compiling because i'll just uh, go through that again okay now we have we have in the debug console uh, this all just stuff to do that you can see now now that this line is executed you see that array is a uh, five elements thing and the initial value of i is zero because that is what we are doing it and uh, yeah and a error is an array of five elements okay now you see error the first indexing is one the second index is five you can see all the variables listed the local variables and if you are having global variables even those will be listed over here in the array we have everything listed to us you can keep a watch over here if you want to for any variable you can keep on watch on i the current value is zero it initially pops up like that or you can also do this uh, error of i thing and you can see error of i is one as of now okay now what happens if i uh, come to my terminal over here because you can see the output popping up over here i'll just close this and run the code now you see uh, that make double uh, has been completed and it again went to the top line because now the i value is not zero that complete that line is executed and it i value is one okay now i can do that i come to the next line you see i value is updated you see i value is updated and even the arr of i is updated now this is how we watch a keep a watch on a variable like i or error of i or whatever variable you want to we keep a watch on that so that uh, whenever a loop is running or whenever we are having recursive functions and all that update the variable will be updated and you can see what are the new values that are coming to it and all and even i will be obviously updated over here too okay now since one print statement is completed you can see two being printed over here not just all of them in a line but uh make double of one this is completed okay now this is a uh, uh, step over that is that we are doing we can also press f10 to go through and that will just go to the next execution line which is again the top line to increment i and again come back to this but since we are having a function over here we can just step into that function or press f for f11 okay now we came to that function okay instead of directly going to this over here we find that a function over here and we came to the function over here and you can see the local element the local thing over here is just element we don't have arr we don't have i in this uh, in the execution context or scope of this make double function the only local variable is element and the input value that came to it is 5 because the second value is 5 all right now element start since uh, watch we won't be able to do that because it's not in this execution context okay if you want to continue uh, you can come to the ending line or if you want to come out of that function we can step out step in is to go into a function and step out is to come out of a function and we are here now okay and yeah since we are out of the function we are stopping the execution and it stops that way okay so yeah this is how uh, we debug a program and we, if we come if we continue to debug the program we should have seen all the doubles of the variables over here okay so that is how you step through the code you have breakpoints and you execute the, your code line by line and you keep a watch on some uh, variables if you want to and also watch the intermediate values of variables which you won't be able to see in the final ending ground if you just compile and debug now you might find debugging a little bit confusing and uh, you know hard to follow in the initial stages but i advise you to learn debugging as soon as possible when you're getting into programming because debugging your code helps a lot as a developer and if you delay the process of learning debugging it it won't uh, you won't be an efficient programmer in the near future okay so i advise you to learn debugging not just writing print of statements whenever needed i advise you to learn a debugger beat any idea you do it's just doesn't need to be visual studio code or something all right now we're done with the prerequisites part in the next video we'll be starting with the actual content of this series which is coding the stack data structure